Hello there, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card I made yonks and yonks ago and I found it in a drawer that I put all my cards to be filmed and it was at the bottom and I thought, oh, I better make this. But I'm afraid this stamp set has retired. And that's this one, Family and Friends. Wasn't out for long. I think I used it once and today will be twice. But I'm going to make a card anyway. So I'm going to be using family and friends for the figures. For the sentiments, I'm using well said for congratulations. And I've got this hunky dory set. And I'm going to be using the word and then there were four. So I'll be using them two stamps. Uh, the cardstock I used was a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at one eight, uh, four and one eighths, and folded. A piece of petal pink cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white cardstock at five and a half by three and three quarters and a piece of DSP and this is from that Twinkle Twinkle um, paper series and this it measures 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths sits on the top like that then I've got a car, piece of car, petal pink card at 3 and 7 eighths by 5 no 2 and a half Three and seven eighths by two and a half. So that makes this three and a quarter by two and three eighths. And this is the piece we're going to be doing our stamping on. You also need some scraps for the sentiments, which I've got there. So let's get rid of that lot because we don't need it. Oh, and a scrap of petal pink to bank back the sentiments. So to start this, we need a pencil and a ruler and we're just going to draw a line right across, doesn't need to be thick and that will give us our guide to get our family straight. So with my black Versafine ink I am going to try and build a family. Right, that's mother. This is father. So we'll do him first. And we'll put him with his toes on the line, hopefully. Yep. Then we shall put mother. Uh, toes on the line hopefully and then we're going to have a baby brother have we done a brother what have we got here a baby brother he's going to go next to dad And then we're going to have a baby next to mum. Baby's nearly as big as brother. So that's our family's body sorted out. Now we need to do I've got stamps on the back of these. Right, this is Dad's head. No, Dad's chin we want to do first. So, put that down. And we're going to put his chin and his ears roughly down there.
Clean that off. Stick that to the side and stick his hair. I'm going to put his hair there. Now this is the little boy's hair, but we need a chin for him. Um, what have I done with his chin? That's mum. That's dad. Um, Oh, I know, he was going to have the same chin as mum because it was the small one. So put his chin there and his ears and his hair. On there, like that. And we use the same one for mum. Her hair is here. I'll stick that on there. Now this will hide her ears. That's fine. Now I need eyes. I never got eyes. Out for any of them. Oh, wrong stamp set. So we will have. They are so little. Right, this little tiny one. For the boy. in black ink here. I need one for mum and dad. Um, this one. And that is my family stamped. Oh, I need that still. Put that to one side before we colour it in. Bring up our scraps. Now we want to stamp the word congratulations. And we're going to stamp that there. Doesn't matter, it's not straight because we'll straighten it out when we cut it. And then the word, and then there were. Um, and then we need to stamp the word four. On there, but we'll try. Yeah. So, with our scissors, we'll cut that off. And cut out the word four, just going round our letters. A 
fiddly this with it being so small. There's our four. Need the big scissors for these. I don't want too much of a border. And then we're going to cut that. Like that. And the same with this. Right, straighten this out. So that's them done. I'll need them again. Right, let's stick these on here so we can cut these out. So I'm going to stick that. So it's got a small border. And I'm just going to cut round it, leaving a little border. Congratulations. And then we we'll stick this bit on. Stick it on a nice straight bit. At least one edge will be straight. So we don't lose it. Right, that's that finished with. Get rid of that. Right now we need to colour these in. I have got these blends ready. First of all, we're going to do all the skins. So petal pink I'm using for the skin colour. There's all the skin's colours coloured in. Now for hair. Right. I'm going to do baby and dad. Blonde. Or daffodil delight in our case. And 
dad and the boy, no mum and the boy, brown. So I've got soft suede here. Right, I'm only putting lines in here and there with that. So I'm going to give a highlight. <coughs> Always having trouble with this stuff. I do the light dark. I'm trying to get the lid off. So she's got blonde highlights. Not that you can see them. Right. The men, I'm going to dress them the same. No. I'll put Dad in a light blue t shirt. got a different top on just realized my other one had a jacket on and he's got a t-shirt on <laughs> and the boy in a red t-shirt both in jeans so You see men in these days is jeans, jeans. Very rare to see men in dress trousers. Right. And the ladies' dress we're going to do in clips of coral light. She's going to be portion of matching shoes. And the baby. Is, ooh. Was going to be pink, but I can't get the bullet end off. So that's them used. <coughs> Need to get a rubber and rub these pencil marks out. Sorry if you're shaking. get our smoky sleigh which is here and um, we're just going to ground them just do some shading around them all Uh, 
There we are. Now all we've got to do is put the card together. So we'll bring all our bits in, our glue in, glue this on. And that is going to have dimensionals on it. I'll write it. I just want to do these. This one will need three. One. Three and this one will need three small ones. I think I've done that wrong. Oh, sausages, sort it out when I come to it. And this one will need, I think, yeah, yeah, that I've got two on there. Right. If you haven't got letters in the letter four, like words rather, in the letter four. You could always put a four number four there. Hmm. Just thought about that just now. A treat for you next week. <clears throat> I know there's a video after this one. Um Friday's video, I think. I think this will be Wednesday. Let me see this. Oh, no. This is Friday's video. <coughs> Starting next week, I am going to do a series of male birthday cards. Monday through to Saturday. I'm going to do six cards. And they are for family members. So there's like dad, grandfather, husband, uncle, brother, son. So that's six. And then on the Sunday I will make a box. Then the following week it will be feel, female cards for female family members. And then I'll make a box and then I will send them off to Gaina for her card challenge for uh, Alzheimer's. Which is a very good cause and which took my mother three years ago now. Also took my grandmother. I don't know anybody else with it. Well, not family members anyway. Just my mum and my nan. Right, I'll put the four there. Right, what I was saying about congratulations, I did want it to go up there a bit. So let's see if I can take these off. Just move them down. And this one. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Like there, and the same 
this one? Huh. If I can move these up here and fix it properly. Right, let's take it back and so. I think I did anything on the inside, did I? No, nope. I didn't even line it. Right, so there you have it. A female and male new baby card for a family of four. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.